Here goes nothing. Lined up and economy standard mode and max light output mode, which isn't a bad thing. Just the top, the top, roll it up a couple times. Now I got a bag of air. Open like this. Hey, welcome back to Camp Geeks, guys. Uh, I have another product review for you. Sorry, it's been a while, but I've been a little very, very, very busy with other stuff as well on my other YouTube channels, but. I do have a lot of stuff lined up here on Camp Geeks, starting with another product from guys over at Trekology. So this is actually one of my favorite ultralight camping chairs. Um, I'm not going to point out that it's not a backpacking chair because it isn't. If you're backpacking, you're not taking anything like this. However, if you are car camping, or in my case, I actually took this on a bike packing trip where I was pulling a trailer and I had enough room and I thought, you know what, I'm going to be comfortable. And I took that with me uh, and it was awesome. However... On one of the nights there, it did rain quite a bit, and whenever you are on a soft or loose soil of some type, these chairs tend to not have a whole lot of uh, footprint, so you can just push it right down into the soft soil, which happened. And so I slowly sank in, and then when I actually went to take it out, I kind of had to pull it out without by grabbing onto the leg to get it out of the ground. This is another product by the guys over at Trekology, which is a sand pad or a basically a, a mat that attaches to the foot of the chair to give it better stable footing on a soft ground of some kind. Sand, uh, to be honest, mud, snow, things like that, that allows you to use these kind of chairs that don't have a whole lot of uh, surface area over a to basically put the weight over a much larger surface area. And they're pretty easy in how do they attach. So I just laid the chair down here. Um, you basically, you know what, maybe I'll bring it in so you can actually see how it goes on better. Okay, so we basically, they have all four of these corners that kind of hook in. Um, I'm gonna start with these two. And it just kind of hooks like that. Uh, and then when we flip it over, I'm gonna flip it over so it's easier for you guys to see. We just grab onto the nice little loops they have here. And same thing with this one here, just grab onto the loop bend you may have to push this and pull this at the same time get it into the foot pocket and now you're about set now the last thing you do want to do they have this strap here that basically keeps it from loosening up um, and popping out of the actual feet here but now we have a pad that's actually taking a much larger surface area for the chair to push on so you get much better uh, coverage on the ground itself and we're less likely to dig really deep into the soil and if you do dig in it's only going to be so far before it actually starts pushing on the actual pad itself and obviously your weight is going to be pushing these feet apart as best they can so it's going to basically counteract itself until you're not sinking in anymore so of course the best way to show this is to show it in use now i actually have already used it on snow because it's winter time still um it melted and good to go it did sink a little bit obviously if it was softer snow it sinks a little bit more than it does if it's a uh, harder pack snow uh, which obviously is pretty standard and obvious in my opinion but it does work a lot better than without having it so um it's kind of it's 48 degrees outside so even though it's winter our ground is pretty soft right now because it's actually been above freezing for a couple days now during the day and so i thought I'm okay with getting it muddy. It's just going to get muddy and I'll have to wash it. So let's show what it looks like in a soft soil environment and soft dirt. Uh, I'll do it with it on first and then I'll take it off and then we'll do it without and see how much further I sink in without it. Okay, well, this may be uneventful, but this is definitely squishy ground um, from the frost coming out of it. Uh, basically because it's so warm out and the sun's been baking it all day um, but this is what I've noticed before where if you're on these it spreads the surface area out enough where it doesn't sink in so much because these legs are very very pointy and it's not even going in at all so let's find out if this ground is soft enough where if I didn't have this guy on I should take that off too huh find out if I would have sank in anyway. 
yep, it's going in. So it's not a crazy amount because the ground is still fairly hard underneath, uh, but it is sinking in a good inch or so. Um, but you'll find the, so the obviously the softer this gets, the worse it's going to get. Let's see if I can find any softer ground. Well, I kind of hit the jackpot. This is a, a very soft spot. So soft, in fact, that my, my chair went right down in and sucked one of the feet right off. <laughs> so, uh, there it is right there. Uh, let me see if I can't get this back on and then we'll give it a try. Oh, yay. With the, the cover on instead. Okay, so this is the spot where I pulled that out. Let's see if I can't duplicate what I did before. Just basically placed it like that. And you can see it actually pushing right here now. Because that spot, that spot is so soft, it actually pushes up here, but then stops it so it doesn't sink down. I mean, it sank down a couple, three inches. But it's working perfectly. Let me see if I can get a bigger shot and then I'll, I'll readjust the chair. All right, so I'll readjust it so that's right in the middle of that really soft spot. Try to keep my feet out of it. And I'll put all my weight on it. And you can see it's putting all the pressure up here now rather than on that specific leg. And you can, you can kind of feel it in the chair a little bit. You can see that it's not, doesn't have as much pressure right here, but it's not sinking. And that's the key. That, if I didn't have this on here, would just go right down into this big old muddy mess but it's not allowing it because, well, a lot bigger surface area. All right, so I just made it back up from outside. You can see what the bottom looks like. I mean, yeah, it creates a little bit of a money mess. I didn't clean it at all, because I, I mean, but you can see how much larger surface area was used, especially in the one corner that was really soft. Basically, I just pushed up all against that. Um, like I said, I've used it on sand, and it worked great on sand. I didn't get any video footage, unfortunately, on that, and I apologize, but I didn't have my camera with me. Um, it was what it was. Um, but on, on mud, it worked pretty good. Uh, so, uh, obviously mud leaves a longer lasting message with you because you get, now you got to clean it, uh, than sand does. Obviously it depends on how muddy the sand is, but it works and it works very well. So if you have a chair similar to this guy, uh, whether it's from Trichology or not, if it has that similar four prong foot, there's a good chance that that little pad will work. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, what I'll do, I'm going to grab a tape measure and let you know what the, the feet measurement is on this chair. So if you have a chair at home and you're wondering if this is going to work for you, if you don't have a trichology chair, it's about 13 and a half square. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, give or take a little bit, you're fine. Uh, 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half, 13 and three quarters, somewhere in there. Between probably uh, 13 and 14, you're probably fine. Um, that's the measurement between them or, or ver this way as well. So it's a square. And it works very well uh, if you have one of these chairs you probably already understand what happens when you're on a loose soil environment S just goes right in obviously i almost lost a foot because of it on that really really uh loose stuff but that mud but that said uh thanks for the guys over at trichology for sending this over to show you guys uh pretty awesome i'm gonna put a link both to this as well as the high back chair from trichology which is my favorite camping chair that i have uh ultra light foldable camping chair um, I love it because of the high back. It's very, very comfortable. So I'm going to put a link to that as well down there. Now, they did send this to me, uh, but they didn't pay me for this review. It's an honest review. Uh, and if you do purchase through the links, you are supporting this channel because it's how I get more stuff in, but it's also how I keep alive. So uh, that said, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking us out. Please share, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll catch you on a future camping review here on Camp Geeks. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh,